Sharif O'Neal, the son of NBA legend Shaq, is getting called out, exposed, and I just can't believe this crazy criticism that people are giving him. Now, number one, of course, you guys know Sharif O'Neal just recently played in the NBA Summer League, where he averaged just around four points per game. In addition to that, playing only around 12 minutes in each of those games, and ended up signing a deal with the Team Ignite G League squad to go and try to play their work on his game and make it to the next level which of course is an official NBA team now with that being said the criticism about this dude is going crazy and what's crazy is that no one is even talking about this now number one there was actually an article posted which basically called Sharif O'Neal average Joe basically saying he was average at best and this guy is just getting hyped up because of his last name and that's something that a ton of you were commenting in the comment section that this is a clear example of nepotism now we all remember Sharif O'Neal in college went through his struggles of course with the heart surgery and even a foot injury as well and we are not going to ignore those things but when you just take a look exactly at his numbers this dude didn't average more than four points per game during his entire college career and with those type of numbers man it's definitely going to be tough for anyone else to actually get even put or get an opportunity to play in the NBA G League we've seen how other hoopers have struggled so much to even get a spot on a G League team, let alone make it to the NBA. And I think with that being said, and you guys remember, Shaq also said that she didn't even want Sharif to go to the NBA, but wanted him to stay in college for at least another year. Now, obviously, Shaq is big on education, and I think he knew that Sharif's chances of actually going straight to an NBA team were really not the best just because of what he did in college basketball. And I have to partially agree with Shaq on that and for sure but on the other hand i think sharif just had wanted to bet on himself and take his chances now in addition to this this dude sharif o'neal just got called out by one of shaq's former teammates Robert Horry actually said this, you gotta tell your son he can't be playing off the O'Neal name. Sharif's such a nice kid that I don't know if he has the dog in him to go out there and take what he wants. And clearly from that quote, there are a ton of people questioning if Sharif O'Neal is really like that on the court. Now honestly, standing at 6'10", and I believe he's over 200 pounds, I think he definitely has a great build for the NBA. I think if he keeps working, and as long as he can stay healthy, I think this dude has a great great opportunity and a great shot to make an impact and even make an NBA team but he's just got to develop this dude was not in college too too long which I think is the real reason why we haven't seen more development and really just more overall game and that dog in him now did you know another fan favorite Langelo Ball is taking LaMelo's spot on the Hornets and just shocked everyone in a pro league game where he went off man click this video on the screen because the jello situation is really starting to heat up and get very interesting.